Hello and welcome to Dark Red Wire. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to avoid property fraud. But there are particular signs that one should look for to avoid being scammed, right? So fraud is a serious issue that can really cause significant financial and emotional distress. So to help avoid being scammed when dealing with property transactions in Lagos or anywhere else, here are some practical signs to look out for. So the first on my list is unrealistic prices. We've heard of the saying, if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. You know, so if a property is listed at a price that seems too good to be true for its location, size, or the features that it has, it's definitely a red flag. You know, scammers often use this tactic to attract or just to lure you um, into buying uh, these properties. So the price is just unrealistic for the size, for the location. It's potentially a scam. This is why research comes into play for the different locations. You're trying to buy a property and you want to find out what prices are um, going for in that location. Send someone to have a look around for you and ask questions. Go online and just do your research to have an idea of what um, properties are going for in that particular location. So the second point, scammers often uh, create a sense of urgency, pressuring you to make a quick decision without even proper due diligence. They might claim that there are other buyers interested or maybe the price will increase soon. Things like that. These are all tactics to lure you into taking action quickly that's definitely a red flag do your research go into um, all the nitty-gritty of what it is that you're purchasing you know so you want to take your time to um, make the decisions and not rush into anything so the third thing you want to look out for is incomplete or vague documentation you know legitimate um property transactions they require proper legal documentation so if the seller is unable or they're just unwilling to provide clear and complete uh, documentation about the property's ownership it's definitely a sign of potential fraud um, the seller or whoever it is that has been assigned to sell the property they should be willing to um, answer your questions the sort of questions you should be asking so that you can ask the right questions so these people can know that you have an idea of what you're g going into so they won't just think you're just um, a novice that's just trying to buy land because you're in the abroad and you know you want to let these people know that you know your stuff so but i will talk about that in another video another thing to look out for is if the seller is just reluctant to meet you in person if they um avoid meeting you in person and they insist on only communicating through email messaging apps or just unwilling to provide their full contact information it's a warning sign um the properties that i've acquired over the years, I know where the sell. I know where the um, the um, attorney um, that was um, given the uh, rights to sell on behalf of their client. I know where they leave the clients themselves. I know where they leave. If anything should go wrong, I know where to <laughs> go dig them out. So it's just very important that you know who you're dealing with and you can actually confirm you have imposters all over the place you have um people acting to be somebody else and you know just to take their identity and use that identity to defraud others so you just want to be very vigilant and not fall into this trap always confirm information you know you can go to the extent of asking where do you live do you yourself live in this area do you have properties in this area you know but again i'm gonna do that in another video of just you know confirming the sort of questions you should be asking another thing to look out for is just poor grammar spelling mistakes and unprofessional communications you maintain a level of 
professionalism in their communication. So if anyone is sending you like documents and the spellings are off and, you know, even in their communication, it's just off. You can easily tell something is not quite right, especially when they're not using the right um, terminologies when it comes to um, property transactions and all that. So, you know, that is definitely a red flag. Another thing that you really, really want to consider, you know, it's so, so important. I know um, to an extent when buying landed properties, they say to you, it doesn't matter what you're buying as long as you just buy it and you keep it and you hold. Never buy a property without physically inspecting it. If the seller avoids allowing you to visit the property, or provides excuses for not arranging an inspection, you need to be cautious, very, very important. If you're not able to visit the property yourself, send someone, send someone that has an eye for property and has an eye for what is good for you and, you know, let them communicate that to you. You know, if they have to record the videos, you know, take pictures, be very specific as to what it is that you're you want them to focus on that's another thing like sometimes these people back home they don't know how to hold their phones properly to record the phones that they use they are very low um, picture quality so that can be a bit frustrating it's important you know to <clears throat> to um, send someone over to take a picture record these videos for you that they're um, going to inspect on your behalf so that that way you can make well-informed decisions you know you can see what it is that you potentially want to buy and you know that will help you make the uh, right decisions for you another thing you want to keep an eye on is uh unauthorized agents sure you want to ensure that you're dealing with the right licensed and reputable people verify their credentials you know check just ask questions, you know, double check. If they're frustrated with you asking too many questions, then there's, you know, that land might not, might not be for you. You know, no one should be frustrated about um, the questions that you're asking, especially when it comes to you buying landed property. Like you wanna ask your questions, you wanna do your due diligence and make sure that the people that you're dealing with, they're reputable people. Um, could be that you're buying from the um, landowners or you're buying from agents or, or whichever um, way is that you're trying to acquire land make sure that you verify that they're legit and authorized to actually sell to you another thing you want to be wary of is uh, sellers that ask for upfront payments before legal documentation is provided now it's a tricky one because sometimes that is the case they want you to make payment first before they proceed with the legal documentations you know um sometimes that can be the case but other times you want to be um you want to be vigilant with this because this is where you want to involve your state, your legal representatives, you know, to deal with this side of, um, of the uh, transactions for you. So that way, you know, you're covered and there won't be any uh, foul play. So usually, you know, these cameras, they often request money for administrative fees, legal fees, and you know all sort of fees that don't even exist you know so you want to be able to um involve your solicitors um as soon as you you're ready to make payments and all that now you want to be cautious of unusual payment methods so if the seller insists on using um unconventional payment me methods such as just you know, transferring it to um, maybe they, they say to wire them money or to transfer Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, like 
you know legit property transactions they typical they use typical standard payment methods which is you know transferring you know to a company account or to um you know it's a tricky one because sometimes you know yes um, individuals do use their personal account you know to receive money but i think the safest thing to do in this regard is to make sure that the seller the person's name the person that carries the name their name on the documentation these are the like you want to make sure that the name the the payment you're making you're making it into the seller's account and the names match the name should match you know so that way there won't be any um inconsistencies as to you know you paying somebody else and, and all that kind of stuff but you just want to be cautious you just want to be cautious about that and just be vigilant another thing to look out for is lack of knowledge of the neighborhood so sometimes when you're asking you know whether it is i want to sell you're asking them questions and they're not just giving you proper um information they just they, they just lack detailed knowledge about the local area you know and the seller just seems unfamiliar with the key details of um the neighborhood that they're potentially they potentially want to sell to you it's a it's definitely a warning sign so protect yourself from property fraud it's essential to work with reputable real estate professionals you know do your due diligence consult legal experts and um if something is just off and it's just too good to be true take time to investigate it further before proceeding with any transaction whatsoever i hope that you find this video helpful please do subscribe if you haven't and like this video and share uh, thank you so much for tuning in again and if it's your first time tuning in welcome to that for a while where we talk about um acquiring properties uh back home and um yeah thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video bye for now